New bureau policy. No more mannequins. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> I don't want the big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. 
But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside, and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking.
Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. We're going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... ...never gone away.
gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Something's blocking it. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Gotta be away from the tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby.
You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thanks for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Why, what I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection? We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? 
Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. I... Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a prey. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like it. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... See what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem, how you see things. 
Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no, Dulin's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris, she's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she, she showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from, I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They, I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. that lab.
effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department, dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there, that's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but... That's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. Do you often see people with abilities like mine? We have some paranaturally inclined agents at the Bureau. Nothing as impressive as you, though. Of course, we did have your brother here. He got a special cell up top. Darling put his own people in charge. Like, I couldn't be trusted. I couldn't even get into the room. In my own panopticon. Oh, I tell you, the way that Darling runs things, there ought to be an investigation. Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Do you know anything about an object of power called the slide projector? Doesn't ring a bell. But Trench's chosen few never tell me anything. Not that I'm complaining. The inner circle works non-stop. I'm pretty sure Darling sleeps under his desk. 
No, thank you. I have a cat to feed. I hope Blankston's got a pet sitter. Have you ever seen an AWE? Not out in the field. The AWEs are just altered items doing their thing. The Bureau goes in, locks everything down, and then they bring me back some clock or a gumball machine that made the town blind or something. Just like an ordinary, with a slide projector. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall's nice enough. A little too special ops for me. Solves everything with a bullet. Respect and ritual will placate altered items better than any gun. How's that? Some people believe altered items are conduits to extra-dimensional forces which require ritualistic worship to be appeased. It's just a theory I heard. I don't know much about it. I feel like he's a few minutes away from a rant about elder gods and blood rites. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. You need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. And then the good won't squint. Spack! What would kill a bad thing? Paska, mikä paska. More of it. This thing is completely leaving from the bitter. Perkele. Saatana. Helvetin helvetti. Oma tulos.
talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least they can't talk back. Your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. Do you have a family? 
I have a brother. I miss him a lot. They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. Chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. They're good listeners. Mold's gotten in here, too? All right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. 